Hey everybody, my name is Matt, and today I'm going to show you what's new in CleanShot version 4.7. We're going to kick this off with a big one, which is the ability to resize screenshots. This is actually the most requested feature in CleanShot, and we're super happy that it's in this update. So I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot. I'm going to go into the editor, and then you can find the new resize option in the crop tool. So in addition to the crop features, you're also going to have image size here, where you can set a specific pixel resolution, or you can scale it by a specific percentage. Let's go ahead and make this half size and resize the image. Now it's going to be half the scale of the original. We're going to say done, save it to the desktop, and we're good. We have a 1080p screenshot instead of the 4K one that we would have had otherwise. A great use case for this is when you're uploading to the web and file size matters. So that 1080p version is 1.6 megabytes and the 4K one is 6.7. For a lot of situations, that additional bandwidth is gonna be something you wanna save. So being able to scale the image directly when you're saving it in CleanShot is a huge win. Okay, now this next one is a really awesome one that I'm personally super excited about. So if I take a screenshot of this portion of Apple's website, we'll hide the window there so we can just focus on the editor. If I pull up the highlighter and kind of move around the image, you can see there's a slightly new cursor that's here. It's a rounded rectangle instead of the circle as before, but something really cool happens when I move over text. It's gonna know that I'm hovering over text and it's gonna resize based on the text that's here to make sure that I'm highlighting the right size. So no longer needing to go into here and find the right size for whatever you're doing, it's just automatically going to work. It's also going to automatically start and stop at the beginnings and ends of words so that you can easily select just the text and not have it spill over anywhere. It's very precise, very reliable, and I really love this feature. While we've got this image pulled up, let's take a look at some of the updates to backgrounds. So if I pull up the backgrounds page, you're going to see a couple new things here. First off is the addition of 10 more background gradients you can choose from. These are built into the app, so that doubles the number of pre-built ones. And of course, the same ones for your current wallpaper, any custom images you wanna use, the blurred options and the plain colors. These are all here, but we also have these new options. Now, you also have this idea of presets. So I have a preset called My Preset, brilliantly named. And that sets the same background, the shadow, corners, all of these settings are locked into what I personally like to use. And so I can go ahead and set that preset, save it, and I'm done. But what if you wanted to make this even easier? Let's go back to the editor real quick, go to the background, and in this dropdown, I'm gonna see default preset. So I can actually automatically apply presets to screenshots when I take them, if that's something I'm constantly doing. Let's go ahead and do my preset for this. We'll say we're done. Uh, just copy this to the clipboard. So now that I have that new default set, let's say I wanna take a screenshot of this little block here. We'll go ahead and take the screenshot and it's automatically applied that preset for me with the same background, the same shadow and corners and everything that I had set. If you ever wanna change this, you can go into your clean shot settings, go to screenshots and then background. You can choose which one you wanna use. If you wanna go back to not adding a background automatically, just select none. There's also been a nice update for those who put a lot of text into their screenshots. So if we add a text layer here and just say, this is a sentence, this is a sentence, it's gonna naturally wrap at the end of the image like it always has. But once you write enough, it's going to notice that, hey, this is probably a paragraph and they want it to be formatted like a paragraph. So instead of centering the text, it's going to make it a full rectangle and it's going to left align everything so that everything looks good. There's also now an ability to make sure that when you drag an item, it stays either vertically or horizontally in the exact spot it started at. So if you hold down the shift key and start dragging an item down, it's going to lock horizontally in space and I can move my mouse back and forth and it's not going to shift. It's gonna stay exactly on that axis. Same thing happens if I go to the left. If I move it up and down a little, not a problem. It's gonna stay perfectly aligned however I want it to be. This is a good time to remind you that if you want to duplicate an item in CleanShot, you can hold down the Option key, drag the item, and it will duplicate that exact item wherever you'd like. And if you want to mix and match these, you can hold down Option and Shift, and now that duplicated item is locked in space so that all of your annotations can be perfectly lined up that look exactly the same and are perfectly aligned. 
For those of you who want to have a clean desktop when you're sharing, we've also updated the hide desktop icons to also hide widgets. Finally, let's take a look at an update to pinned screenshots. So pinned screenshots are kind of awesome. So you can go ahead and pin a screenshot you just took to your desktop. We can even copy it to the clipboard, but it's still gonna stay pinned until I say otherwise. And it stays on top of everything. And if something's hidden you wanna get to, you can move it out of the way. But we've also added a new shortcut to do that. And I've configured it to this, so I can quickly toggle visibility. Okay, it's gone, bring it back. Super easy to use. If you want to find this setting, go to your clean shot settings. And actually, we're going to toggle it again while we're doing this. Go to the shortcuts menu. And then under pin, there's toggle pins visibility. You can set this to whatever you'd like, and it'll be ready for you when you need it. So those are a lot of the features in CleanShot version 4.7, but there are still more quality of life features in here, reliability, performance improvements, that sort of thing. And you can check those out in the full change log linked in the description. Thank you so much for using CleanShot, and we really hope you enjoy this update.